Hey, what's happening, friends? It's Dean from Electrona Sounds. Today, it's going to be a quick one. I want to talk to you about getting the new 1010 Music Blue Box uh, Eurorack version of their desktop recorder and mixer installed and powered up in my large Eurorack case. Now, the Eurorack version of the Blue Box mixer requires quite a bit of 5 volt power, and my large case just doesn't provide that kind of power. I've encountered one other module where I've had this same issue with, and that's the Euclidean Circles V2 module. I've gotten around that power issue by adding a second and very small power supply module here to power the Euclidean Circles V2 module, and that's the Tip Top Audio U-Zeus module. It just takes up 4 HP in your case, and you plug in a little 15 watt you know, power adapter to the front of that uh, module, and you plug a flying bus cable into the back of that module, and then you can plug a few different modules into that specific power supply. Unfortunately, the U-Zeus doesn't put out even remotely uh, enough 5 volt power to power the blue box. Currently, I've been powering it, uh, the blue box, using the Kaisha case from Nano Modules, which as you can see, it's powered up here and everything is working great. But, you know, I'd really like to have the blue box inside of the large case rather than having to run all the individual cables across the case and out to another rack. So it's time for an upgrade. Today, I'm trying to replace the U-Zeus module with a Row Power 45 module from 4MS. And instead of a small little 15 watt power adapter, the Row Power 45 requires a big old 90 watt power brick, okay? And so I'm going to swap out the U-Zeus with the Row Power 45. I've got an extra flying bus cable to plug into the back of this module. And we're going to see if we can go ahead and power the Blue Box as well as the Euclidean Circles module today. Let's get it all connected and see if it works. So the end result is that it worked exactly as expected. We've got the MS Row Power 45 not only powering the blue box, but also powering the Euclidean Circles V2 module, exactly as expected. I'm going to put links to all of these components that I'm using to power these two modules down below this video in the description in case you're having some difficulty getting your Eurorack version of the blue box mixer powered up. Until next time, friends, thanks for watching.